for the Vancouver Canucks in the National Hockey League. This building here. Well, yeah, we, we know the well. We've we've heard of the Canucks. <laughs> Has yeah. a great name. I well, like the name. We also used to have the Grizzlies here, but they moved to Memphis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the National Basketball Association. Mm -hmm. Basketball, historically credited to be created by a Canadian. Oh, okay. In the U.S., but mm -hmm. by a Canadian. All right. Can't remember. It. Oh, Doctor, what's his name? I can't remember his name now. I used to talk about. Him. What? What? what oh, the Canucks? How did they get their name? Uh, the Canucks. Um, it's based on uh, kind of a Canadian terminology for a lumberjack. Oh, Canuck. okay, okay. Yeah, here comes our Sky Train. Right. We have uh, so. Uh, actually, let's go take a look because we won't be able to see it unless we drive right up to it. It's really foggy down here right now. Yeah. Just over here is uh, built for a World Expo. It's a big silver ball called Tellus World of Science. And we had our Olympic Athletes Village over there too. And it's foggy here. Yeah, it's pretty foggy. I was hoping to see the uh, Rogers, or sorry, uh, Science World, which was built in 1993. So we'll go take a look at it. Yeah. And I'm just surprised that where we were it was sunny and beautiful. Yeah, all of a sudden we're in the fog. Yeah. What a difference. Well, is, is there, are we known for clouds to come down or what? Why is um, this time here it's common to have fog. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in a temperate rainforest here and there's always water in the ground here. So depending on what's going on with the weather, temperature changes and inversions and stuff at this time of year will cause this. Now I notice you have the electric trolley cars just like, well, I guess you say San Francisco. Or when, what, what's the history on that? Um, they were built in the 19, eight, late 1800s, 1880s, 90s kind of time period. Mm -hmm. And we actually had them running in Vancouver until about the 1920s. Mm -hmm. And then we started making uh, the more modern version of electric trolleys with the arms going above instead mm -hmm. of connecting on the ground. But even the old original ones were actually electric oh, okay. on the ground. Were they electrocuting people? Was it, was it like the in Brooklyn they had the, the, the Brooklyn Dodgers, but they because they had to the dodge the trolleys. Oh wow! Well, because that's why okay. they named Brooklyn Dodgers. But the electricity on the ground did that do something? I mean, it, it, was, it, was that a hazard or something like that? I'm guessing it probably was, depend uh, based on what you're saying, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I I've never really heard that much of the of the history of it. No, the, but I wouldn't the, the, be surprised if that happened. Actually. No, the Dodgers were dodging the trolleys, but the trolleys were still running on electric. Oh, okay. I was just trying to figure out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing they probably grounded them properly, but I'm not sure. Mm. Never heard that before. So. Now we're we're under the the, 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 the rail system, right? The, yeah, this is part of our public transportation. It's a light rapid transit system controlled by computers, but overseen by real life human beings at a command mm. center up in Burnaby. Mm. So, uh, because the original. Part of it, a lot of it was built above the ground on an elevated track. We call it SkyTrain. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's interesting how names. So here is Telus World of Science, built in 1983 for the World Expo. Ah, uh, this uh, the ball, this ball hill. Yeah, you? this big silver ball here. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to skip the Olympic Athletes Village, but you get a bit of a glimpse over here to the left. All condos now. All of those buildings. Yeah, there. not the newest one, the higher one no, there, but just to the right of it, the shorter ones. Yeah, that's all Olympic Athletes Village over there. Mm -hmm. There's a couple newer ones further off at the end of the row that were built after the uh, Olympics. But most of the cluster there was the Olympic Athletes Village. And we had our office over there mm -hmm. during the Olympics, actually, before those buildings were built. Or, now you say when they were under construction, actually. Now you were saying stuff. during the Olympics, you 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 were doing concessions and stuff like that. Did everybody no, during just the have expo? Done? During the expo, okay. Yeah, okay, 1986 okay. World Expo. Uh -huh. We called it Expo '86. Yeah. So this was at the east end of the fair site over here, and it went the full length of False Creek. Uh, we'll go all the way around downtown. When we come out of Stanley Park, we'll see English Bay, which is way over there, um, at the west end of. Falls Creek and Granville Island is sort of the entrance to Falls Creek further off to the left. Next we're going to go into Chinatown. 